I shouldn't say good luck. It's really about prosperity and hard work and talent and team and capital and all those ingredients that go together to make a successful uh, young business, uh, which Pat Snap is definitely uh, signifying. Um, now we are going to move to uh, biotech and um, a very interesting company, home, Hong Kong homegrown company, Eric Chen of Vitrogen. Um, he's here from the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, and he's going to be interviewed by Ying Ying. So please uh, take the stage. Thanks, Eric. So I actually asked Eric before we got here what percentage of the audience he thought that he would know or have seen before since Hong Kong is so small and the tech scene is so small. And what did you peg that at? 30, 50. Okay, cool. So you guys get to meet Eric again. Yeah. Um, and your company is unique because, first off, it's science-based. So you're doing something really important, which is a better way to test your food for toxins. Right, right. What does that mean, and how does it connect to fish? Okay. Uh, just an example. For example, nowadays when you are saying this water is safe to drink, Usually the government or, or the um, regulatory only test for like 10 to 20 toxins. But in the environment, there are more than 100,000 toxins out there. So when you say safe, you only means a dozen of the toxins has been tested. So that's why our uh, solution is unique, because we use the fish, which have 90% uh, DNA similarities with human beings. And it can test over thousands of toxins within 24 hours. And if it detects toxin, it will become fluorescent. And the intensity of the fluorescence can quantify the toxin. So it's much faster, much more efficient. And, and we haven't tested this brand yet, so I'm not going to drink this one. <laughs> um, this seems incredibly important to me. I wonder why no one's done it before. Uh, why before? Yeah, why has no one figured out different ways to test for toxins? Actually, in the past, I mean, um, people are using fish for pharmaceutics industry. Um, but there are so many food scandals nowadays, and we are the first one to apply this fish technology to tackle the food, cosmetics, and environmental testing. And it's actually more than testing, because nowadays, we not only buy the products and test in our lab, we also empower our clients, like the largest cosmetic companies in the world, the largest food company in Switzerland. Uh, we license the technology to them, we supply them the fish, so they can test internally. And one more step is that nowadays, when you go to the market, you don't know which one is the safe cosmetic to buy, which one is the safe brand to consume. And I'm telling you that for some of the baby milk powder, for example, it's like over 100,000 over the toxic limit, which is if you, you consume it every day, you are guaranteed to have cancer, but you don't know which brand is safe. So actually, we are also providing a certification scheme that you will see our double fish logo on this product. So in the future, maybe one or two years, when you go to the supermarket, when you go to shop on the Alibaba, just recognize our double fish logo and you know this is safe to use. So that certainly sounds really useful, right? But you, it sounds like you're gonna be up against you know, established companies, huge brands. How are you gonna handle that? Uh, actually, we are helping them because for nowadays, the downside management is that uh, many of the company caught by surprise to buy some toxin from the supply chain. And this company, the, sometimes their share price will go like 50% down within one day. So we are helping them for the risk management. And on the other hand, we are helping them to build a brand. Because nowadays, it's not about the quantity. It's about from quantity to quality. You want to have healthier products. You want to have safer uh, consumption. So we're actually helping these brands. We are helping the industry. I also found it really interesting that you have a pretty superstar exec team. So even though Eric is the founder, he actually proactively reached out and brought on senior executives to lead the company and work alongside him. Can you tell us why you decided to do that? I think it's about uh, what's your vision and how much impact you want to make. If you want to like 100% own the company, uh, it's like a cha chan ten, cha chan ten is good, xiao er mei, small and beautiful. But we want to be big. We want to make huge impact. So sometimes I think 10% uh, of a 1 billion company is much better than 100% uh, of a 1 million company. Alibaba, Ma, uh, Jack Ma only have like 8% of it. So that's how we think about um, the whole thing. You can't do everything. You need to bring in more senior people, more experienced people. Just two stories to share. For example, how I bring in my managing director. 
I remember in uh, 2012 that we are selected to present in front of... And, uh, and who is your MD? Uh, Jimmy. Um, he's, um, like, he already have a listed company in Shenzhen. So we were selected as the top 20 social entrepreneur to present in front of uh, Bill Clinton. Our project is number one and his project is number two. So I think he has some good skill set to add to our team in terms of operations and everything. So I approach him and telling him that, okay, look, you are already uh, financially very successful, but um, what you are doing is polluting the environment. So I'm telling him that instead of like keep doing what you are doing to pollute the environment, why don't you join us to improve the uh, safety and make the world a better place? So he quit his existing uh, job in the company and join, uh, and join us. Another example is about how we bring in our chairman, uh, Mr. Peter Liu. So Mr. Peter Liu is the chairman of a very famous uh, Silicon Valley uh, venture group called WI Harper. So we present last year in the Economist uh, Summit. So he met us and he scheduled breakfast. So after the breakfast, he said, oh, I want to make an investment. And I tell him that we are already profitable. We don't need VC money. And uh, he said, no, you need my resources. I, I say, fine. Um, if you be our chairman, and uh, I, can, I, can, I can accept your investment. And then he said, I never, I never uh, be on the chairman of any company for the last like 40 years. I say, everybody have their first time. So you join us, you make money, you make meaning, you make history. So he's in, and he's our, now, now our chairman. All right, so continuing on the personal notes, Eric was on the what is it formerly called the baseball team, the youth baseball team oh, in yeah. China? I used to play, um, play baseball for China when I was young. Yeah, and he, he actually talks about health and fitness and sports a lot and how that relates to business. Ah, I think um, to be an entrepreneur, you need to be like psychology very strong and also physically because you are going to have a lot of ups and downs, a lot of pressure. So I think uh, what I learned from my professional sport career, the teamwork, the um, uh, resilience is very important and helpful. And again, continuing on this, you mentioned a lot, uh, you spend a significant portion, or not significant, but you consciously spend some of your time on things like this, like giving talks to different groups and especially to youth. Um, what are some of the key themes that you really highlight to even younger people? Uh, I think uh, what I call is the three H principle. The first two are quite, uh, quite uh, many people talked about that is keep, uh, stay humble stay hungry. And what I call the, the third H is stay helpful. Because um, I remember that uh, in Davos this year, I asked the Jack Ma, I mean, uh, Alibaba uh, is helping a lot of S SOEs, uh, uh, SMEs, and how you're going to help a new company like us. And so what Jack Ma says is that nobody can help you. At least you help your employee, you help your uh, customers, you help the younger generation, and they will help you. So the third thing is that uh, just like what you uh, asked me, it's not about challenge your client. It's not about supervise your employee. It's about help them. You help them to succeed, and they will help you. All right, thank you so much. As you can tell, Eric's a great person. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, you Eric. Much. Thank you, Ying Ying. Uh, what kind of fish are they? Uh, Seabar fish and madaka, genetically modified. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, everybody to everybody needs to go to Hong Kong Science and Technology Park and see his glow-in-the-dark fish. Um, so thank you again.